Welcome back to the next lecture in uh, the project report preparation series. In this uh, lecture, we will see how to insert and format equations. Of course, in any engineering project report, equations have to be inevitably presented. So let's see uh, how equations are best presented in our project report. Though there is no simple way, uh, but you have a repeatable way of uh, presenting uh, equations in a simplified uh, manner. Maybe initially uh, you toil a little bit to create the template for the equation and as in the case of tables, uh, you can uh, uh, create a template for the equations and then make use of the template again and again. Okay, let's go ahead once again to insert an equation. Maybe let me go to a typical place in the report. So I'm here. As I said, insert tab gives you an option of inserting several kinds of entities. And in the introduction lecture, uh, I have emphasized that equations are not edited in the regular fonts style. Equations are edited making use of a plugin software. It has to be done. I found that many students just edit equations in regular uh, text along with the running text and along with the body text. It is so unfortunate. Never do that mistake of editing an equation in body text uh, font style. So you have an equation editor that is available uh, in Microsoft Word 2010 and the later versions. The later versions have uh, still more enhanced uh, features of equation editor. So you can say Alt equal to or uh, equation. You can click on equation, but before you click on equation, you know, we want to format the equation so that the equation is centered and the equation has a number. So to have better control on centering the equation and numbering the equation, we insert a dummy table with three columns. Three columns are meant for effectively centering the equation. And... Uh, so that uh, you have equation number and then the equation. So let me once again go to do my paragraph because body text is uh, double line. So let me go to paragraph and say single. So that the table, uh, I did not select it. So let me select this and say the paragraph is single. And then the equation is centered. So let me select center for this. And here the number is right justified. So let me select right justified there. So I'll come back. And then now I'll say insert equation. Insert equation. Let me suppose I want to insert an equation for uh, computing the average mu of a Gaussian distribution. So you have to make use of this ribbon and the different uh, structures that are provided by the equation editor. So maybe initially you find it difficult, but as you find uh, more and more uh, practice with the equation editing, you find that uh, it's very easy to edit equations with uh, the structures available in the ribbon that are available that is uh, present so you have some greek symbols here so i will select mu and then equal to and on the right hand side you have a fraction as the name itself suggests you should emphasize on the structure so the structure of the right hand side is a square root with a fraction inside it numerator and denominator so what is the highest level structure the highest level structure is square root so first i will uh, present a square root what is the next level structure the next level structure is a fraction 
So there are different kinds of fractions. So I'll choose this fraction. And now what is there on the numerator? In the numerator, there is uh, sigma xi. So the next structure that is needed is sigma. So I have an integral here. I have sigma here. You see that there are different structures, fraction, superscript, subscript, script structure, and then square roots, integrals, sigmas, different kinds of brackets, trigonometric functions, x ends, a bar, x bar, vector notation, limits, and then different kinds of operators, and then matrices. So you have uh, enough number of features, normally good enough for you to edit the equations that are encountered uh, in our project reports. So now I need to pick up a sigma structure. So there are several kinds of sigma structures. Similarly, pi structure is there, union structure is there. So I'll pick up this. I want to have a simple sigma i x i. So I'll say sigma i. And then x i. x i is a subscript structure. So I have to pick up the subscript structure. And then I'll say x and subscript i. So this is how you have to initially assimilate into your cognition the structure of your equation and then come from the top level to the innermost level. Otherwise, uh, you cannot type x and then add uh, a subscript. It's not possible. You have to choose a subscript structure first and then uh, get your x subscript type and then n. And this equation is in font 12. That's good enough. And this is in Cambria math, so don't change that font. They are not in Times New Roman. Equations are in Cambria math. And then I would uh, like to have uh, a numbering for this. For numbering, a roundabout hack is, I'll select this. And then go to references. And then I'll insert a caption. And uh, there are, once again, equation, figure, and table. If you choose figure, it will be the caption contains the keyword figure. If you choose equation, it does not contain any keyword. It gives you one hyphen one, the first equation in the first chapter. Because presently, we are in the first chapter. Above selected item or below selected item, it does not matter. Because anyhow, I cut it and paste it in that uh, uh, tabular column. So I'll say OK, and then 1.1, cut it, and this is not a valid selection, let me just check. OK, copy, and then come here. Rather, I will cut this. So I will select, cut it, and then paste here. So if you want to have properly aligned in the cell, you can right click here and uh, select cell alignment and you can choose this so that it will be vertically and uh, horizontally aligned so that completes uh, editing the equation and maybe before this you have a uh, little bit of space so we'll delete it and as i said earlier in the case of uh, table here also we have some space so this space can be formatted with no spacing, the paragraph space, and because there is a body text, there is one blank paragraph. So I'll say no spacing, so that looks fine. So now if I take file, print view, this is how I'll see the equation. The equation is centered, and the numbering of the equation is done in accordance with the chapter number and the sequence number of the equation in that chapter. And the equation number is right justified. 
so that is good enough because if you look at this cell so this is center justified so you can write justified so it got further uh, right justified so now you can I'll say no spacing so this is 2.1 and maybe I change the equation suppose I want to calculate uh, uh, I want to present the equation of a circle here so I'll just modify this remove this equation and say x square so you go to insert and then before you type x you will go to equation tools and say superscript x square so x square and then say plus select once again script y square those who are familiar with uh, latex style you can also straight away type such squares r circumflex square space automatically it becomes r square so if you know about latex those simple techniques can also be used here and this is uh, home cambria math 12 i am not going to change this is also times new roman 12 we will keep it like that the equation number in times new roman 12 and then you can always write uh, cross references equation 2.1 represents the equation of a circle something of that kind so i'll go here and uh, reference cross reference i have several things so that can be cross reference i'll choose equation and the equation i want to choose is 2.1 i'll say insert close so I'll type equation in before uh, equation 2.1 shows the relationship. maybe some kind of uh, description so the relationship between x y and r any point uh, x y on the circle and the radius of the circle so this is how you can uh, continue your uh, description now let me play the same old trick of inserting an equation at a later point of time prior to the equation which was already inserted so let me insert an equation here and see what happens we'll go to insert pick parts and then this is the equation so this equation is 2.1 rightly because that is that happens to be the first equation in uh, i'll go to home apply no spacing so this is rightly the equation 1.2.1 because i have inserted it before the equation of the circuit but this did not change to 2.2 and i used to tell you this is the small hack file and print so I go back to home that gets changed to 2.2 automatically and even if any cross references are there they will get changed to 2.2 so this is how you can uh, edit your uh, equations and uh, give them a better look in your project report consistently thank you